Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to Pennington Place. Uh, I was going to talk a little bit about the chickens today. I know the wife touched on it a little bit the other day in her video. We're, we've got more chickens than what we really need. But we're working on trying to create the perfect homestead chicken. You know, and in my opinion, a homestead chicken needs to be able to hatch its own eggs out. And that's why I am keeping the game chickens around to introduce their broodiness and their ability to, to forage on their own into these chickens that we're going to have for layers. And I'm going to, I'll, I'll take you around and show you what I usually do on a Saturday and a Sunday morning as far as letting them, let a few of them out and moving a couple of the tractors around so they get a little extra grass and stuff. But in, industry has bred the broodiness out of them. Because uh, uh, an egg laying house doesn't make any money if the chicken isn't laying eggs. Well, if the hen is broody, she's not going to be a laying. And you know, the, the, in, the industrial egg house loses money then. So it's been bred out of them, but it's still in the game chickens. And every, every breed of chicken that's walking the face of this earth today has been developed from the game fowl. They started with, I think it was the red jungle game fowl and everything since then has been bred from them. It's just a way that they keep breeding for certain traits. Just like if you say you're breeding for a certain weight, you're only gonna breed the one who weighs X amount to one that weighs X amount, so you end up with X amount. It, it was the same way with broodiness. You know, if a hen was brood, would go broody, they wouldn't save eggs from her to hatch because they didn't want a hen, you know, they didn't want the offspring to have that broody trait. And I just think that, you know, if you're, if you're wanting a real homestead chicken, you need one that'll go broody. You know, you need to be able to, ha she needs to be able to hatch her own eggs off. Now, is her egg production for the whole year going to go down because of that? Yes. But you also got to look at she is going to be producing meat for you. You know, there, there's pros and cons to a hen that will go broody. And I, you know, the, one, the ones we got running loose, which I'll show you here in a second, they're over here now uh, playing in the flowers. But, uh, you know, they, they run loose all the time. And when, when the grass is green, they're lucky if they get a handful of cracked corn a day because I want them to forage and they do, they forage, they grow, but you know, they get fat on stuff without my input. And you know, that's what we're wanting is a more self-sufficient chicken. Let me turn these around here and I'll show you. This is a pair of my game chickens. Uh, they're just, they're pretty much mixed up. They're a three quarter Claire, quarter A seal. The reason I got these is I want to try to produce a better homestead chicken. I am going to be crossing these onto laying hens and then taking the hens from them and breeding back to a big stock chicken. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the broodiness back into the chickens because the industry has bred the broodiness out of them. And to me, if it comes to a, it hits the fan, there's not going to be electricity to run an incubator. We, you know, we're going to need chickens that can hatch their own. And that's the whole reason behind having these game chickens is to try to develop my own quote unquote homestead chicken. <clears throat> this.
this is uh, some black astralorps, and I'm not sure what the gray ones are. They were unmarked at TSC. That is Tractor Supply Company. So not positive what they are, but I move these every day. And then on the weekends when I'm home, I'll move them twice a day. But here lately, I've just started letting them out and, you know, let them forage and scrounge for what they want. <clears throat> but these are the ones that I plan on breeding the half game, half big stocks back to to try to get you know a good egg layer that will go broody and hatch and that can forage on its own uh to me a, a chicken needs to be able to you know get its own food if that time comes you know there's not you know if it hits the fan then there's not going to be you know a feed store to run down to there's not going to be money to, if there was a feed store to run to so and over here is just a few of the <clears throat> bannies that we hatched out earlier in the year. Well, a few bannies, and there's a couple games in there. But uh, let me set let me set this camera up and see if I can get this thing when it's moving. Not for sure how well that showed up, but you could see that they all moved to the front as that as the tractor moved because they wanted to be the one to get that bug. And then here is all the astralorps. They finally come out of the pen, and they they just love bugging. And here is Mister. I'm too cool to go in the back in the chicken tractor at night. All the, all the hens in this tractor are half game, half big stock. There's one here in the front. I don't know how well it'll show up. But she is half astralorp and half big, or half game. She's got the tough puffs on her cheeks, you know, like a Americana does. <clears throat> but, uh. That's, that's the first generation of my cross that I'm trying to come up with. The, <clears throat> I kept, let's see, there's one, two, three, four. I think I kept five hens. There's either five or six hens in there that I have kept. And they are all, like I said, egg layer, half egg layer, and half game. Let me set this down, and I'll get you a video of them coming out of their pen, because I usually let these guys out every single day. Not sure how well that's going to show, but <clears throat> I'll try to keep them in there and then get the camera back up so you can see them when they do come. Now, They're hitting that clover hard and then you know they'll be after bugs and stuff all day and it, it really cuts down on the amount of feed that these guys eat by letting them out every day
Now she does look kind of funny because she's molting. She's lost all of her tail feathers except for one and she does look pretty goofy. This is the old mother hen. There will come one of her babies out. There's three more of them in here somewhere. These guys run loose all the time. Right now they're on uh, pest control duty in the garden. 